Meet the Candy Amore School Lamps team. Lamps, we light up learning. <laughs> Library with Mrs. Demanche. Art with Mrs. Gleason. Music with Mr. Brown. P.E. and Health with Ms. Isham. And Spanish with Mrs. Cartier. Hi, I'm Mrs. Demance, the school librarian. This year, you won't be coming to the library to check out books, but I'll be showing you how you can find some electronic books online. And later this month, I'll be showing you how you can order books from the library and I'll deliver them to your classroom. I'd like to start with a read aloud today called All Are Welcome by Alexandra Pencourt and Suzanne Kaufman. It has my favorite kind of cover, a continuous cover. Okay, let's start reading. I see an adult and some kids and they have backpacks on. Where do you think they're going? Mm, illustrative end papers. Ah, they're at school, just like you. Pencils sharpened in their case. Bells are ringing, let's make haste. School's beginning, dreams to chase. All are welcome here. No matter how you start your day, what you wear, when you play, or if you come from far away, all are welcome here. In our classroom, safe and sound, fears are lost and hope is found. Raise your hand, we'll go around. All are welcome here. Gather now, let's take part. We'll play music, we'll make art. We'll, we'll share stories from the heart. All are welcome here. Time for lunch. What a spread. A different dozen kinds of bread. Pass it around till everyone's fed. All are welcome here. Open doors, rush outside. We will sing, we will slide. We'll have fun side by side. All are welcome here. We're part of a community. Our strength is our diversity. A shelter from adversity. All are welcome here. Just like at our school, we're all different. We will learn from each other. Special talents we'll uncover. There's a big world to discover. All are welcome here. So much to learn, so much to do, and when the busy day is through, can't wait to come back, start anew. All are welcome here. Head for home to get some rest and greet tomorrow ready and fresh. Our time together is the best. All are welcome here. You have a place here. You have a space here. You are welcome here. I'd like to welcome everyone to the 20, 2021 school year at the Henry W. Moore School. I hope you have a great year and I look forward to seeing you in the halls. Hello, amazing artist. It's me, Mrs. Gleason. Did you recognize me in my mask? I'm still the same. Alrighty, so this year my amazing artist is gonna look really different than in the past. It'll feel kind of weird, but we're still gonna manage to make some art and have a lot of fun. So this year, instead of you coming to the art room 
and us working in centers, the art room will be coming to you. So I'll be wheeling into your classroom if you're in grades K through four every two weeks and you'll have art every day for those two weeks. Now, we won't be able to share supplies, but you'll have your own supplies to work with. And even though art is gonna feel a lot different, we're still gonna make art and we're still gonna have a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing you. I'm gonna bring a few friends along with me and I hope to see you soon. Wear your mask, stay healthy. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Isham and I'm here to teach you PE and health this year. I'm looking forward to seeing you when you get back. We're going to have so much fun. Things are going to look a little bit different, but that's okay. We're gonna do as much as we can to creatively get you outside, get you playing, get you moving, and teaching you how to stay healthy and physically active. However, when we are talking about physical education this year, what we wanna think about is PE stands for physical education, but we're also going to talk about it standing for play every day. I'm not gonna be able to teach you and have you moving quite as much as I would like. So what I want you to do is when you're at home, you're going to play even more. You're gonna get one full hour of play time a day. You're gonna to try to do different practice skills, different games, just get some activity exercise, go for a bike ride, everything like that. One hour a day, that's your challenge. So every day you're going to play, you're going to grow, you're going to practice, and you're going to have fun doing that. This year, I have an assistant. He is a little shy, so let's see if I can get him to join me. This is Mr. Bones. He's going to be here to help us learn in our videos and teach you different things about how the body works. So one of the things Mr. Bones wanted to remind you of is that we're gonna be trying to go outside a lot. And when you go outside, sometimes the weather in New Hampshire isn't super nice. So as it gets colder, try to bring your hat and your mittens. Um, if it's gonna be a rainy day, we're going to have our raincoats so that we can still go outside for a little bit during class. And we can learn and play during those different weather conditions. Um, I look forward to seeing you in class. Some of the things I wanna remind you of is we do kind of have the ABCs of PE, right Mr. Bones? So the ABCs are the kind of guidelines or rules that you can think of when you're in my class. So A stands for always act safely. So when we're playing, we need to act in a safe way. B, the B stands for being prepared. You need to have your sneakers, you need to have safe footwear. So no boots, no heels, no sandals. We're gonna try to get into the sneaker um, mindset right off the bat. And then C will stand for cooperate and care for others. We want to show how we care for our classmates. Um, we want to always be there for each other. And then D is going to stand for do your best. That's the last rule. Do your best and have fun doing it with everything that we're working on in class. So I can't wait to see you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Say goodbye, Mr. Bones. Goodbye. We'll see you soon. Well, hello and welcome everybody. I'm Mr. Brown, the music teacher at the Moore School. I'm excited for another year. It's gonna be a very different year, but we're still gonna have an outstanding time learning about music and experiencing all the things that make music such a great part of our lives. All right, so we're gonna be talking about some of the things that we're gonna be doing this year as well as some of the things that we won't be doing because things are a little different this year and I know you probably, by now you've heard that from a lot of your teachers. Um, but there's still a lot of things that we can definitely be doing. We're going to definitely all be using technology now and again once we get all that up and running. I know some of you don't may not even have that at the time that you're seeing this video, but you will at some point, so we'll be doing that. As far as singing, we can't really sing formally, but we can whisper, sing, we can hum, and we can definitely do a lot of those other things that go along with music, like listening and identifying songs and identifying instruments and moving to the music. Um, within our bubble area within the classroom and we'll definitely experience a lot of those different things. Um, now I'm going to just discuss some things that are related to certain grade levels or, or um, uh, groups of grade levels. 
uh, for grade three, normally this is the year that you'd be um, for, will you be formally playing recorders? And we're not going to actually have those recorders in our hand, but we'll still take the time to study about recorders. We're going to learn how to read the music that we would uh, need to read uh, to play recorder. Uh, and all these things that we'll be doing, we'll be doing hopefully so that we can next year when you come back in fourth grade, we can actually pick up the recorders and do some playing at that. And all of it leads forward to what you will be doing um, as a fourth grade student, and that takes me to this year's fourth graders. Normally, uh, fourth graders would be um, having this be the year where they would begin um, free band lessons. Band lessons would be available to any student in fourth grade. Uh, and again, we kind of have to move that off a little bit, but instead of actually picking up an instrument and learning that instrument this year, uh, we're going to all choose an instrument that would be our first choice type instrument. We're going to learn about that instrument and uh, continue our music notation learning um, and learn how to, to read music for that particular instrument. Again, all of these things uh, hopefully making it so that we can lead up for next year as fifth graders when you come back to be able to actually pick up that instrument and play. For instruments, uh, for instance, and we'll learn about these, but the instruments uh, of the woodwind, brass, and percussion family. So maybe you'd choose a flute or maybe you'd choose a trumpet. Uh, for the brass section, or maybe you learn, choose that you want to play the drums. You, know, you can uh, definitely do the things this year that will help you to be able to, uh, to get yourself ready for that. Hola chicos y chicas de la Escuela de Moore. Soy profesora o señora Cartier, la profesora nueva de español. I'm Mrs. Cartier, or Senora Cartier, the new Spanish teacher here at the Moore School, and I'm so excited to be joining you this year. I might look a little different when I come into your classes, because right now I'm here in my classroom all by myself, so I don't have to wear a mask. But when I come to see you, I'll be wearing my mask, just like all of you will. But I know that underneath those masks, you've got smiling little faces, and I want you to know that I've got a smile under my mask, too. I have been a Spanish teacher for 14 years. Well, this is year 14, so I've been doing it for 13 years, which is a long time because it's longer than all of you have been alive. So I've got a lot of fun stuff to teach you this year, and I can't wait to do it. Just so you know a little bit about me, I have three children, tres hijos, and they're here in La Escuela de Moore. They're here at the Moore School as well. So feel free to say hello or hola to make them feel warm and welcome just like you will for me. I also have dos perros, two dogs. Their names are Sarah and Cookie. Sarah's a very big dog, and Cookie's a little bit smaller, but she's still pretty big. For big dogs, they love to run and be active and snuggle with everyone in the familia. La familia is family. And I'm sure I'll get to hear about your perros, gatos, animales y familia este año. So I want to hear about your dogs and cats and maybe you have some other animals. And of course, I want to hear about your families this year while we're together. I know your UAs are going to look a little different this year because we'll be visiting you in your classrooms. But that doesn't mean that they're going to be any less fun. So you can still expect to have a lot of fun with me. Sometimes I'll be bringing my amiga, Dora, with me. I bet some of you are familiar with Dora. You may have seen her on TV. She's kind of a big deal. Don't worry though, I'll be sure to take care of her messy hair before I bring her along with me. When Dora comes with us, she likes to help us learn the language and have a little fun with it. So, be sure to give her a nice warm welcome. Bienvenida is welcome. Bienvenida, Dora. Hola. This year, we're going to do a lot of different things. We're going to probably talk about the colors and numbers and the alphabet. We'll learn about animals and different things that we like to do so that we can talk about them in Spanish. By the end of this year, you're going to have so many words to say. You're going to be talking to your friends in Spanish, and you might talk with your classroom teacher in Spanish. And I hope that you'll share some of your Spanish words with your familia también. Share some of these words with your family too. Maybe each night at dinner you can share something new with them. That would be really great. It's important to remember that even though this year is a little different, we're all ready to be together. We're all strong and capable, hardworking people who are excited to learn new things together. OK? 
okay? So I can't wait to see all of you really soon. I know that we're going to have a lot of fun. And the next time I see you, we'll all be wearing our mascarillas. That's how we say mask in Espanol. Say it with me, mascarilla. Okay, so I can't wait to check out your awesome mascarillas and meet you all in person soon. Que tengan un buen día. Have a great day.